Good morning. It is Saturday, April 23rd. It is a beautiful spring day out. And we have Mushi doing his morning scratchies on his scratchy bed. It's about 9.30 and we have a few things going on this weekend. But one of the main things I want to show you guys is an update on my arrow garden. So it's been almost 30 days. Today is day 29 that my gourmet herbs have been growing and just take a sneak peek. These are thriving. Well, some of them are, some of them aren't. We've had a few spiders. I'm not sure what's going on with one of them. The leaves are a little brown. So I'm gonna look into all of this stuff and let you guys know what to do if any of this happens to your future arrow garden. There are some things growing more than others. I have to go to David's bridal and try on um, one of the bridesmaid's dresses for a wedding I'm in this year. And then also we're bringing one of Greg's nieces to her soccer practice today. And of course, this morning, most importantly, Gregory just left. He's going to get us some delicious breakfast from Bobo's Cafe. There's a bunch of different Bobo's Cafes up here. And I love, it's just like an egg and cheese sandwich, but then their waffles are so good. So he just went out to get his breakfast. I am working and very close to being somewhat done with my 3,000 piece puzzle. Any other puzzle lovers, comment below. But this is what it's going to look like. Okay, another thing that I want to try and do today is get a plant for this basket. Don't mind my Easter chocolate over there. <laughs> but I love this basket and I want to put, I think like Birds of Paradise tree in here. And then I think also coming today, we have a few things to hang plants. I think I have the planters coming in today. So I want to find plants for those, another plant weekend. And then I finally have patio furniture coming sometime this week. So I don't know if you'll see that in this vlog or sometime in my very soon upcoming fully furnished house tour. I was really waiting on like a few more things, but let's get the weekend started. Happy Saturday. Today is supposed to be 60 degrees. We are well into spring. So I did a few things to start making it feel like it's more springtime here. This is the plant I got a few weeks ago, thriving. This is the other one I got, put it in front of the sun. It's also thriving. In the kitchen, I always change out the dish towels here depending on the season. And I actually got a new desk chair. It's super cute, super white. I actually needed it to fit under <laughs> my desk and it wasn't fitting flush under my desk before. But loving this even to brighten up the area for spring. All right, well, speak of the devil, something just arrived, a package, and I think I know what it is, so let's see. <laughs> okay, these are the hanging planters. Look how cute, Moosh, <laughs> come here. It's so curious about everything. So I got two of these, so I guess I need two for real go plant shopping today. Two of these cuties. I wanted to put like those big tall planters out in front of our front door, but our porch out there is not that big. So I think I'm just gonna let it go. Like we're not gonna live here forever. We don't need to go all out <laughs> if it doesn't make sense. Oh, look at who came up with breakfast. Got my chagachino. I've never tried this before, so I just looked it up. What it is, basically it's with like mushrooms, chaga. Um, so it says chaga has the highest antioxidants measured per gram in the world, one of the best foods for immune support, anti-aging, energy boosting, and more. And I have had like the Four Sigmatic mushroom coffee. That's what I use when I travel. I've shared that in past vlogs. And then I literally eat mushrooms like every day. I love mushrooms. All right, so let's see if this is good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like a flavor that I haven't tasted before in coffee and I think that's it. And we have our egg sandwiches and the waffles. It's a good day today. It's a good day today. I know it's nothing new. So another thing leaving winter into spring, I'm gonna reset the table so I have some more like neutral colors and I'm gonna bring these out. I love using these placemat settings for summer so hi Greg Hello. so get someone to clean up your table first and then reset the table nice <sighs> doing good honey wow look at how summery all of this stuff besides these are new all the stuff we had in Los Angeles I just like how light and bright it looks for the summer 
It's the little things that can change your mood, I swear. Went to all the kids' games. One of them had practice, then it was a softball game, which she won, very exciting. We got pizza, and now just us two, and we're gonna go get some soft serve ice cream. That's another thing in LA. Like, remember we couldn't find soft serve? Yeah. Like, I don't understand why there's, there's a few specific things in LA like we could not find. So we're gonna get some soft serve ice cream. Just pulled up and the line is so long. It's all adults. Do you think it's moving? Well, the more we wait, the more people that walk up. Oh. It, it is moving. I think I should try it. Definitely worth the wait. <laughs> Yeah. We made a quick little breakfast quesadilla, just eggs and cheese and a tortilla wrap. I'm so good. And we're just gonna go for a little morning hike. It's 11 o'clock now. We had the weirdest sleep ever. We went to bed early, like we took a nap and then woke up at 3 a.m. So that was fun. <laughs> but we're gonna take Mushu on a little morning hike. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Don't play, bud. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking oh, for in so life. Cool. Call <laughs> us crazy, but things are finally right. Here is my arrow garden. I think it's 28 days later, but you'll see down here, it tells you when you need to add food and water. Right now it's saying add food and then press this button. But look at all of this. I'm gonna do a deep dive into what I have growing. I'm gonna actually get some basil off because I wanna use some. All right, so let's add some plant food and they give you this so it hasn't run out yet. I do have to show you guys how long the roots have gotten. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Look at it. This is wild. I've already added more water once. I'm gonna look up if you have to ever dump it but that's crazy. I wanna talk about a few things that have come up in the past here. Oh, let me press this button. All right, I just press this button and it says actually we're on day 29. Before I get to chopping anything off, I wanna talk about a few things that came up over this 30 days. What's going on initially is that my time is not growing. <laughs> that might be a play on my life. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I don't know why this isn't growing but they do say you can just reach out and you can get another little pod to go in there look at this that's crazy okay so one of the first things that came up is how dirty it gets so oh this guy you know i think it's having a hard time it's being overpowered right now by this basil so i'm gonna take some off i have to look up what's going on with these leaves i did have some visitors some visitors that were unwelcome guests actually i had a spider over here and i actually found a few dead flies down like where it's sitting so i'm not sure if like it's good to eat these when they look a little bit browned on the edges this one's interesting um this is dill <laughs> this is getting crazy so i'm gonna cut some off i don't really think it smells like anything so i'm gonna cut it and see but i think this mint needs a little bit more room to survive because it's getting crushed by the basil back here and then this is parsley look how cute these are these just started coming out this is Thai basil and this is 
Genovese? I'm not really sure. That's the other basil. <laughs> Anyways, back to what came up over the first 30 days is that you have to clean this thing. So you can see back there, it's getting a little dirty. Another thing is around the edges. I just cleaned that actually. So around the edges here, you can see like, I think if they call it like a little bit of algae forming and stuff like that. So, um, Something that's super important is to clean it. And because I had someone welcome guests, I look up what to do to d deter them. And I put together some black pepper and cinnamon and just put it right in the middle here. And I think that's been working so far. So let me get some scissors and we'll chop off some dill and basil. So I'm gonna take this piece of basil because it's overwhelming everyone. And then this little brown spot, I'm not sure if it's okay or not, but everything else looks really good. All right, I'm gonna cut some dill now. There is a ton of it, so I'm try and cut down on here. I don't know what you use dill for. Oh, I don't really like the smell. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what you use dill for, but I'll try and see if anybody knows. All right, that should be good there. I'll cut some of this Thai basil too. And I think I'll leave everything else with this parsley and cut one of these. You can see the other babies coming up down here. And then I'm actually gonna clean this a little bit. I'm just gonna use some of my 2.5 pH spray. So I'm gonna spray this on here. Get around. I'm not sure if this this like it's crusty stuff in the back is to like the plant food. Cause it's like something that has hardened. Alright, so basically like probably only once a week, I just kinda wipe this out, clean it up. And come back partially. And I keep this lowered all the way down because I don't want my parsley to keep growing out of control or my basil. So I'm just gonna put everything back. Here is what I picked for day 30, well day 29 <laughs> of my Arab garden. I'm so excited to use these. All right, that was fun. Off to David's bridal to go with the bridesmaid's dress. If they have my size, I'll get it. If not, I'll just try them on and see what they got. <laughs> I just realized I forgot my heels, but I don't think it's that important. I used to have my heels for like when I would do fittings to get them hemmed and stuff, so. I'll just go there and see what they have. It's over in Connecticut, so let's go. was a success. This is how I have everyone secured. I found this little poke bowl place um, right around the corner and I haven't had a Thai tea in so long. I used to get these a lot in Los Angeles. When I first lived there, I worked right in Japantown. I used to get these every single day. Let's see if it's good. Mm, mm hmm Bringing me back. Mm, so good with boba. Comment below if you, if you like boba. I know a lot of people don't, but I like it. And I got a poke bowl. It's about three o'clock, so I'm gonna head back. We are going over to some family's house for dinner, but I am gonna eat before that. <laughs> I might also plant everything, like repot everything tomorrow because I recently heard you should let your plants like sit in your new home for 24 hours or just so they can like acclimate to the new air or whatever it is so I'm gonna actually put them outside because I heard also like bugs if they have any bugs on them just put them outside for 24 hours so I might plant them tomorrow good morning it's Monday so we can vlog extended I'm just finishing up some breakfast I got this from a local cafe it's like overnight oats with some fruit and walnuts and granola 
I went to Pilates this morning. The best way to start off a week is like doing something I feel like physically productive. Get your body moving, get your body flowing. It is about lunchtime right now. I already had some iced coffee, yep, it's noon. And I think I am ready to start repotting. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with my hydrangeas yet. I have a really big white pot. I think they'll look pretty in there. And then I was thinking about mixing these two together. I don't know. So I have these. I could put one in here and then these daisies in the other. But I kind of think having them match would be really cute. The other thing I got at Lowe's is a bunch of new seeds. I'm going to plant in my arrow garden. Snacking pepper, baby broccoli, cucumber, lettuce, green onion, and some spinach. So after my herbs are done, I'm gonna plant these next and see what happens. Then my birds of paradise. I've wanted a big beauty for a while. I'm gonna take real good care of you, I promise. Oh, by the way, my aloe plant's officially dead. I'm gonna throw it out. It's just, it's not coming back. It is so wilted. It's it's over. Anywho, that basket back there, I actually bought it to put a plant in. It has something in there right now, but I'm gonna see. I think this is gonna fit in there. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I'm gonna start cutting. I did keep these daisies and the other green ones separate. There's a ton of little baby daisies down here. So cute. So here's the other one. Look at my hydrangea, which is right here. Looking so beautiful, so gorgeous, so pretty. I could also keep it in this pot. Like this pot seems to be legit. Okay, turns out this comes a little bit above this basket. This pot that I have, I thought would be cute. And I don't like the way that looks. It came with this paper in the bottom. So I think I'm just gonna put it in there until I find a different pot that would work. Okay, this definitely has to be repotted because I just took it out. And this pot doesn't have any drainage holes. So maybe I can put the birds of paradise in here, but with the other hot burst with, with drainage holes, but. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's soaking wet. I think it actually looks pretty good like that. 